Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Karina. I am so happy you're here. Um, today I have a little video for you talking about Gucci beauty something i've done a little collaboration with nordstrom for the holidays and i was able to get a lot of their products and so i like them so much this is not a sponsored um video but i like them so much that i wanted to share because i think that they do make some really awesome gifts and they're like on the budget so under 50 dollars you know what I mean? So it looks pretty on the vanity. It's just great quality. And I just wanted to give you the scoop application, kind of like a little bit of a review, if I may. And uh, I hope you stick around. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, I usually do fashion, beauty, and some lifestyle. Um, you should check out my Instagram. I'm going to put a little snapshot in here. That's where I am most active. I'm there almost every day. So or every pretty much every single day so um that will be a way for us to connect a little better okay so for the collaboration i did um i did have a campaign running on instagram so i'll make sure to put the uh the snapshots in here as well the pictures because they're like turned out really really pretty um and then they sent me some of the collections so these guys here the lipsticks they come in this um boxes in here so it's kind of like a pink or more of like a nude and black um, box so it just looks really pretty and then they have different packaging for each um, different finish of the lipstick so uh, the creamy ones satin finish are like this I know that the ones that are fuchsia like this they have a glitter over them you guys how gorgeous so this one is the I'll, I'll tell you all the colors and i'm going to do swatches for you and also let you know which one is my favorite and the one that i'm wearing the most so this is another another one they look very like vintagey and retro um it's just very gucci if you if you ask me so these are like two different they're also gold but different finishes on them Gosh, you guys, this camera is super struggling to pick up everything. But before I go into the lip, I also have two other products that I do like it a lot, especially this one. So this is the mascara. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging as well. Here's the Gucci on in gold. And then this is the um, Effect Lumiere. So it's a multi-use gel gloss. Um, from Gucci so this is more of a um, face gel has like a little texture of I mean it just looks like hair gel but it's a very like lightweight all you need is the tiniest little bit and I'm just gonna apply here for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about this is for me it's great for a certain age if you know what I mean um, sometimes i feel like throughout the day my concealer starts like to crease and um you know fine lines start showing up in here depending on how much how tired we are or how um dehydrated really we are so for you to put this on the lips is very high shine i love it i think it's gorgeous but this is the way that i personally use this the most so it just gives it a little bit of like a wet look. I am looking extra tired today and dehydrated, but that's okay. And so I am going to be applying with you the mascara too. I was just saving it for this moment, just so you guys can see. I do like this brush a lot. Ah! It has like tiny little bristles so it picks up and I'm looking this on the side here because I have a mirror <laughs> let me bring this over here so it kind of picks up every little bit or every little hair in there it can be a pretty natural look if you guys just apply it once but it's definitely buildable so you can just 
keep on going. Much better, isn't it? Um, also, because the bristles are so tiny, it's also good to apply on the lower lash area. We have like really, at least I do, very, very tiny hairs. What do you think? Okay. Okay, as you guys can see, this is the um, mascara. I was going to say the eyelashes, but no, this is the mascara after application. Just a couple of coats and then... Um, I hope that you, you can see with the light, when the light hits, this is just a very natural way to highlight your face. So I know that some of my friends use like lip gloss, but I find that to be a little bit sticky. And this is just a gloss that's made for the face. So like I said, very lightweight and it won't stick to anything. It just looks kind of like a natural glow. So moving on to the lipstick, my favorite one is the Painted Veil. So this is the creamy one. And I'll do swatches for all of them. It's more of like a brown nude in here. All of them have the Gucci um, logo printed on the lipstick. And let's see how we're going to do this. I'm not good at this swatch stuff, you guys. So I'm just going to do my thing, okay? So this, as you can see, it's more of like a rosy bit of a I have just chapstick on my lips a little bit of a um, eye pen so I do not have the Gucci eye pen so this is an Armani I know you guys are gonna ask um, number two just a smooth silk lip pencil and uh, I'm going to overline, overline the lip a little bit And I don't, I'm not filling in, I just the outer corners just so it stays there better. I need to get the light at the back in here. Sorry guys, the setup does not work very well. Pretty, isn't it? Very natural, but still like good color. And my lips are instantly fuller with just a little bit of eye pencil. So this is my favorite one. Just my very favorite um, color from this collection. Smells good. Um, it has a really good creamy texture. It is marketed as, as a long lasting. However, it is not long wear. So do not expect to be like one of those matte lipsticks that are like super long wear that you can like drink water or whatever. No, it will um, leave a stain on your cups and stuff, but it's just like a normal lipstick. When I use the lip pencil, I feel like it lasts even longer. I have two of the satin, so I'm not gonna show you that finish. The one with the floral here, it's a sheer lipstick. So let's just do this one for now. This is a red color called Goldie Red. Already lost. Oh, it's very sheer compared to Painted Veil. See, this is red, but it reads more of like a super, super sheer. So just so you guys know. So you guys, it's sheer, but it definitely has great pigment. I think it's pretty awesome. Really love the way it looks. And it feels very comfortable on the lips. I usually am not a huge like red lipstick person, but very, very good this one. This is like totally first impressions here. So love it. So the one with the blue 
or teal, however you want to call it, is a lip balm. So this is a little, let me see what they're calling here, this color. Oh, it's actually right here. No more orchids. So it's like a pretty bright peach color or salmon -y color. Um, I do like lip balms. I actually have the Dior um, lip balms that sh uh, sh um, change the color on your lips depending on like your body, temperature and chemistry. And I really love it. I wonder if this is something similar, but we'll see. I'm not gonna line this since this is just a lip balm. Interesting. How cute, you guys. I actually really like it too. When I first saw it, I'm like, okay, not happening for me, this color, but I like it. Let me move the mirror and see if you guys can see it better. For lip balm, 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 I can never say that word. It has a lot of pigment and it does definitely feel like a balm. Okay, off to the matte color. I'm kind of disappointed on this camera because when I do the picture, it, with the lighting here, it shows so much. It's like, it's bright, but when I, for some reason, when I do video, it's just not as good. By the way, you guys, I have no concealer, so I apologize for my skin being just so not top performing today, not in top shape. Okay, now moving on to the matte one. This is the Janet Rust. We're gonna go back to it. And I will do a little just to, just because it's matte. And I, I'm almost like, feeling sorry for for putting this on because it's so gorgeous and I want to be able to give this to my friends but <sighs> wow I mean I love the feel of it the first <laughs> the first sweep so creamy I will have to see you guys how this kind of performs on my lips, if it will um, stay. Ultra pigmented. So you have to kind of work in there to make sure both sides are even. This is amazing, I feel like Power Woman right here. It feels so good. It's a matte lipstick, but extremely creamy. I did make a little mistake here. And I don't have any concealer in hand to change, but I hope you guys can just um, get a glimpse for the color. Just a much deeper kind of rust red. Very holiday and gorgeous, gorgeous. I usually don't like myself in super dark lipsticks. I'm like, this is, this is good. You know what I've noticed? I'm not doing the swatches. So this is rust red. So paint a veil. Forgot this one is the balm. Oh, it's the sheer. This is the matte, and then the balm. I think this is good, right? I'll take a picture of it too for the blog and like put the names on it. So now off to the sparkly ones, you guys. What is this called? Um, this is the limited edition, which like it has all of the pretty sparkles in it. I hope this is not going blurry on me. So, okay, so how, 
How about these colors? Let me see if I can get to focus in here. This one, it does have the Gucci in it too, although it's harder to see because, um, because of all the sparkles in it. So pretty. Let's try without the lip um, pencil and see where we meet or where we go. This is the Ventine Fuchsia. Wow. You guys, straight out of the 80s. I remember this the kind of stuff my mom used to wear. Can you guys see like when the light hits? It's like Disco 54 all over again oh my gosh you guys this is so cool it's actually much cooler in person than oh, over here okay let's do this next one mm. I might need, yeah, I'll definitely need some makeup remover for this one, because look, if there's one out, out of all of them that is definitely a very, very long wear formula, would be the metallic ones. Like, look at this pigment. Even after, like, multiple wipes. I'll be right back, but this is good to know, you guys, so if you're going to a party or anything, you know that these guys here with the fuchsia lid, is probably the one that will last you all night long through drinks and conversation and eating and okay, all that. I got a little makeup. What is this? Speak See, the Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. I like this a lot. It's not super oily. Just to kind of grasp all that oiliness. Ready? That's pretty too, isn't it? You guys, I don't know if I took a picture with that. Oh, I think I did. Um, it's beautiful, but in all honesty, I think the fuchsia kind of like knocked my socks off. I just wasn't expecting. This one is just a little more subtle. It does have the metallic finish, but not as crazy 80s. It's pretty though. So let me just do so you guys can see the difference. Here's a little, like a little more wine color. But do you see what I mean? Even on my hands, it's not as bang as the fuchsia is. My lips are gonna be raw after this video. Okay. Let's just do a little. Okay. Swatch in here. Ready? <laughs> 80s definitely you can kind of feel too when you put put it on you feel the little specks of sparkles uh, look how it shines you guys like when you're applying can you see that picks up the light I hope you can it's hard for me to see it on the tiny little screen here but <laughs> very cool Really, really like it. I feel like it's very 80s too. This would be like a super cool color for summertime, like a beach party that's glam, you know, fast forward to the times that we can actually do that again um, and have crazy beach parties, um, you know, with like a really nice tan and a white dress. 
think that this will be a killer summer lipstick. So anyway, I will leave the um, the swatches on the blog with all the names of the colors. Um, will if, if, if sorry. If I did forget anything, I will make sure to take note in there. Obviously, you guys are welcome to leave your questions and comments on the box below, um, so that way I can try to answer them on the blog. Um, although this video is gonna come together, it's it's gonna be live together. I'll try to answer to and, and add on if there's something that's like major that I forgot. I have worst case of holiday brains right now, so just saying um and that's it you guys i hope you did enjoy this a little video here review if you guys want more of these i'll be happy to make them uh not highly edited i'm just trying to like make more if i overthink on my videos then i just don't make them so i just need to kind of like film and post and go for it so if you guys do enjoy this do let me know and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Um beijo. Tchau, tchau.